Huge traffic back up on I-94 in Racine County this afternoon, all to fix some potholes. Tom Murray is live with that story. Tom. Well, Courtney, good evening. This is I-94 in Racine County. The pothole problem is so widespread, the state patrol actually shut down two southbound lanes for several hours today so there could be repairs made. This interstate stretch is one of the busiest in the state, and today traffic was reduced to a one-lane crawl. This January jam, thanks to patchwork on that winter driving pest, potholes. There's quite a few of them. A lot of them are right in the tire track, so, um, but yeah, it was a mess coming here. As a truck driver, if you hit one of those potholes, what could it do to your rig? Uh, you could possibly uh, blow out a tire. Uh, your main concern is the steer tire. The DOT calls it a rolling closure. Two public works teams slowly making their way down I-94. This is manual labor. They used shovels to move asphalt from a truck to fractures in the road. It's different with potholes on the highway, isn't it? Oh yeah, a lot different with the speed. So it, it makes, it makes uh, driving much, much dangerous. This winter's extreme temperature swings are to blame a sub-zero deep chill, and then an above freezing warm-up in a few days span. As potholes plague southeast Wisconsin, expect more of these traffic tie-ups in the coming days. A lot of snow, a lot of thaw and refreeze cycles. Um, potholes, whether they're on you know roads that are controlled by the Department of Transportation or whether they're your local streets, certainly you're going to find a, probably a higher number of potholes, uh, certainly a lot more than you would have seen last year. And I'm told the same guys on the asphalt crew, asphalt crew also work on the snow plows. So you can imagine this has been a very busy winter with a lot of overtime for them. Live tonight in Racine County along I-94, Tom Murray, today's TMJ4. Yeah, and that could continue for a couple more months. Thanks a lot, Tom.